Greetings, and welcome to another World of Tanks. Apologies for the lack of content and my absence lately. Illness has been kind of kicking my ass. I will get back to the replays that you guys have been sending me soon, because there's plenty of good ones in there. However, I had this game with Welly and Jez last night while we were trying to get Jez the kills that he needed to complete his mission. And it reminded me of something I occasionally forget, which is that I started playing this game for fun. And while team games are very cool, and I do like the the competitive nature of them and how together and tactical we need to be, there's a lot of fun to be had just driving around blowing stuff up in a tank as well. So we looked at this lineup and how things have been going. And while he said, you know, I'm thinking of going to the town. And I said, okay, let's do that then. And I was thinking we're kind of kind of stop here, but well he said, nope, I'm going on in. Okay, right. Angry TD mode engaged then. So uh, off we go. <laughs> well, he turns into a submarine for a little bit, and the Yag Panther is, well bigger than the SU. And people are clicking the map because there's loads of enemy over there. And yes, our other flank is a little bit weak, but I don't care. We just weren't in the mood. We'd had kill stealers and RNG. And while he's taking a big chunk out of somebody, I don't really want to get hit by the RC, so we want to get in here. And that's one down. Got what? A couple of tier sixes around the corner. Dicker Max is in bits now. Now let's see if we can have him. I am extremely lucky that that shell went in. While he's pushed the VK, I'm making sure nobody tries anything funny on his flanks. Jez is pushing that IS. I think at this point he needed one more kill and had done for two or three battles. So he's just charging that IS and trying to push him back out of everybody else's sight. I don't really want that Nassau behind us. So he goes. Jez has almost got that IS. And the M6 sneaks it from behind him. Now our other flank has indeed fallen over. We've got a TOG still sitting in base for who knows what reason. I'm thinking, well he can go, uh, Jez can go and deal with the artillery, pick up a kill there with his little duckling string of kill stealers. Well he and I will go back and defend our base. And I think the SU is still up there, because the bishop hasn't spotted him. And there he is. So, aim low and at the back. Tracking shot and hopefully an engine shot too. Well, he puts one in. And there he goes. Now this, this is a useful time. For auto aim. Because I wouldn't be able to aim at him properly through that hedge. And I don't really feel like stopping and aiming. So I've asked Welly if he can get the Cromwell, who then gets sniped by the TOG in base. And then the ELC gets sniped. So. Oh, Grilly. Okay, well, I'll have you then. Because I don't think Jez is going to get line on him. Can't hit the T25 from here. So we'll start crossing over. There's the artillery. Unfortunately, Jez isn't going to be able to get line on that either. And I happen to know that from just off to my right, there's a fair chance I'll actually be able to hit him. There we go. And this is one of the things I like about the Yag Panzer. It's nice and mobile. Uh, 
And I'm thinking if I can just get around this corner. There we go. Auto aim was fine for that one too. And we did eventually manage to get Jez the last kill he needed. Though, in amongst the RNG and all the kill stealing, it did take a little bit of work. <laughs> 